Rusty Pretty <laughs> I'm Susan Proven and I'm the director of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival and you're on City Search. Russian beautician. I run my own beauty salon in the Balaclava and I specialize in bikini waxing, coloration and of course the back sack crack and shaft wax. But unfortunately I only get to perform in the second act. My manager, she's decided to do some pathetic attempts at character acting in the first act. Four or five different characters. I have to wait until after interval before I can come on stage. Honest, take a look on the city searches. I'd love to uh, welcome everybody to the Melbourne International Comedy Festival 2010, the 24th. Great to be here with uh, City Search and great to see them promoting the city. Hello. Uh, what are we doing today? We're at the program launch for the Melbourne Comedy Festival. <laughs> I'm Josh. Uh, I'm doing a show. Apparently I should mention that. I'm doing it here. That's a lot of chairs. You should come because that's, that's too, it's too many. <laughs> it's too many. No one's going to... Anyway, come to, to it. I love you. I've been doing stand-up for five years. I'm 17. Yeah. Now I'm 22. It's five years, isn't it? Um, I have, like, no other job prospects. I've got no skills. Like, I'm not very good at, like... I don't have, like, enough confidence for customer service. And I can't... I'm not very good at maths. And I can't do, like, manual labor. My only, my only skill is, like... Ending sentences comically with like a janitor reference, and that works well. Here. I'll take a photo of my own hair. Now I'll know whether my hair's any good. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, I see what you mean by that. Anyway, it's a lost cause. What is it now? 2010, which I think is our 14th comedy festival, maybe wow. in a row. Hence the bags under the eyes. We used to be the new sensations on the block. One of the good things slash bad things about the comedy festival is it really forces you to churn out shows every year, you know, which is cool. It's nice to be kept on your toes, but for the first time ever, we've been working on this show, this show we've been developing for like two, two, two or three years. It's a musical, so next stop Broadway. I think. Musos are often really funny backstage in band rooms and stuff, and they all want to be comedians, and comedians all want to be musicians. It's yeah. like a weird little atomic sort of relationship, you know, everyone's orbiting everyone else. G'day, I'm Scott from Tripod. We're doing a show called Tripod vs. the Dragon, a Dungeons and Dragons musical. You should come and check it out. Welcome, we're talking about the Melbourne International Comedy Festival today. And, oh, I better be quiet, there's some really handsome blokes coming on now. Uh, my show this year is called Ricketts Lane. It's a show I'm writing with Heath McIver, who's a, an amazing puppeteer. And I want to ask you, first of to... all, what your name is? Uh, my name's David. Oh, I'm doing a show in the Melbourne International Comedy Festival called uh, Neanderthal Brow, which is named after this ridge. Can we get a profile? When it rains, my eyes don't get wet. And can you is give this... us a quick description of the show? Quite of, uh, kind of dark. Oh, everyone says that. Um, no, I can't give a description. I do a whirling dervish for the show. I've been yep. training for that. So imagine, full white, conical hat. Uh, okay, ready? Apart from whirling dervish, you'll also see uh, sock puppets. I'm going to attempt to do an Afghani character and not be racist. Come to the comedy festival, come and see other stuff as well. I won't be hurt if I see you in a queue for something else because I won't recognise you. But if you do have a ticket on my show, it'll be fantastic. It's called The Merger. Uh, go and see David Quirk, he's here, he's great. Go and see Celia Picola, go and see Harley Breen. Go and see Melinda Buttle doing her first show. Get up off your lazy ass wherever you are. My name's Amy Callanan and you're on City Search. Don't let